Hi, my name is Riley and my topic is on the life of a German Jewish child. I chose this topic because I wanted to know how children's lives were during the Holocaust compares to our lives today. It relates to the Holocaust by showing how German and Jewish children's lives were the same and different. Children are children. They all looked similar, wore similar clothes, they are friends with each other, attended school together, and played together. They go to each other's houses, eat with each other's families, and live together in the same neighborhood. Everything was the way it should be with children and adults. Everyone getting along until Hitler came and started saying things to change the minds of the people. The things began to change for everyone. Life for the Jewish child was very dangerous. First, they were sent to ghettos. In the ghettos, there was little food, had to live in small one-room apartments, and not allowed to leave the ghettos. They were forced to wear a yellow star. The star meant they were Jews. After the ghettos, many families were sent by boxcars to concentration camps. Once at the concentration camps, they were separated. Women and small children went one way, while men and boys went other way. Children had to work at the camps. They were given little food and drinks. Some children died of starvation. Some of the children went to the gas chambers and killed. Some of the Jewish ch children were hidden by people. They were hidden in homes, barns, and in caves. They had to rely on people to bring them food. They had to be very quiet. They spent their days playing board games, reading, and schooling. They were not allowed to go outside. They feared they would be caught or turned in for money. Some of the Jewish children were taken to other countries. They had to leave their parents so they would be put into labor camps. Many never got to see their families again. Children were raised to hate the Jews. Many of the German children's fathers were off to fight in the war. They were being raised by their mothers. They went to school where they were taught only what Hitler wanted them to know. They were allowed to play outside with their friends, but they could not be friends with the Jewish children. They had to be careful because of the bombings. They lived with the fear of the bombings. They had blackouts in the evening. They would have to stay indoors at night. They had food shortages because the food was being sent to the soldiers. Some of the boys were in the Hitler Youth. This was a group that was taught how to become like Hitler. They were taken from their families. They were trained how to use weapons and to survive. They were devoted to Hitler. Although children were separated and treated differently, children are still children. Everyone was scared. Everyone was hungry. Everyone wanted to be with their families, Germans and Jews. They are still humans.